Grace Church, I am sitting here right now with my Bible. I'm in Ephesians 3. I know that we were going to start Ephesians 4, but I really want you to see something again uh, and maybe to a deeper level in Ephesians 3, 20 and 21. Let me read them. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. I want to point your attention back to verse 20 here. Now to him, God Almighty, the triune God, Yahweh, to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think. Just let that think sink in. Let that thought just sink in here immeasurably more. And what I'm thinking here is immeasurably more in, in the fog of war. We're in a spiritual battle. Uh, we're in a, a, in a spiritual uh, battle for the souls of, of men and women and boys and girls. And we're in the spiritual battle. And oftentimes there's just a fog as you're going through and it gets confusing. And you, you wonder which end is up. And you wonder what you're going to do. And, and you wonder how things are going to work out. And, and it just gets disorienting even. Late October in Louisiana, uh, seven people were killed, uh, two dozen injured, 158 vehicles damaged on an interstate during what is known as a super fog. Uh, near zero visibility uh, and due to the heavy fog, it caused an 11 mile backup, but all these people were, were killed and injured and vehicles damaged. And, and when you can't see due to the fog, when you can't pray, even maybe due to grief and shame, what do you do? And I want to remind you here uh, in, in Ephesians 3.20 that God can do more than you think he can. And that God is always working for his glory. These verses are telling us. Remember that, brothers and sisters. Remember that when you're in the fog of this spiritual battle, this, this, this war that is being waged for the souls of men. 